Sunday gun day. What is going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things and today we're taking a look at my brand new gun safe from Rhino Metals. Now before we get into this thing, I don't want you guys to get too excited. This is not a gun collection video. I've been getting slammed in the comment sections on all my social medias, do a gun collection video and that's absolutely not what this is. In fact, I've actually taken out every gun that you guys haven't seen in a video yet and put them in another safe. If you really want to see my entire gun collection, you can go back to the first episode of Sunday Gun Day and start from there. Pretty much every single gun that I own now or that I will be buying in the future will have a video made on it so it's just going to be rolling out over time. So with all of that out of the way, let's get into the safe. As most of you guys know, I don't like to slam you with specs in my videos, but when it comes to safes, other than the aesthetics, the specs are really what makes this thing impressive. I'm about to throw a lot of information at you, but if you want to check it out for yourself, I will leave a link to this exact safe down in the description below. This is my Rhino Metals Ironworks USA series gun safe. This thing is a complete beast coming in at 60 inches tall by 40 inches wide and 25 inches deep. It holds 54 long guns and has a fire protection rating of 85 minutes at 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. You can find this information on the inside of their door showing off their advanced protection with three layers of 5 8 inch fireboard in the ceiling, two layers on the wall, floor, and door. It also has this heat activated door seal that expands up to seven times its size, which seals the door edge to keep out heat and smoke. That makes me feel pretty confident that if this place ever goes up in a big ball of flames, that everything that I have inside there is gonna be relatively safe. These safes also come with one of the best warranties in the industry, as you can see on the outside of the door. They offer free repair or replacement in the event of a fire, free repair or replacement in the event that someone actually tries to break into this thing, and on top of that, shipping cost is covered both ways in the case of a replacement. I obviously hope none of that stuff ever happens, but it's nice to know that Rhino Metals has your back in case it does. So speaking of breaking into this thing, let's go over some of the security features. This thing is extremely heavy duty with a 12 gauge form steel body and external corner reinforcements on the critical attack points. This is a 12 gauge composite door with reinforcement on the pry points. On the inside, there's a tungsten carbide drill plate, anti-tamper clutch, anti-punch, anti-drill bolt works, a spring-loaded relocker, and needless to say, this thing is pretty secure. This safe has inch and a quarter diameter door bolts, four side protection, and 13 total. And the whole thing has been certified by UL, which means it's up to standards with all the acceptable gun safes that you can buy today. So damn, that's a lot of specs. But what's really cool about this thing, other than how safe it is, is actually shown by what they send inside the safe. This card right here came inside the safe with all the other documentation. It reads, this safe was handcrafted in the USA by proud Rhino Metals employees from cutting, folding, welding, prep, paint, and final finish. So America, yeah, I love supporting American products as you guys know. Anyone at Rhino Metals who had anything to do with the whole process of building this safe has their signature on the card here. It's a really cool touch. I think that's really cool that they throw that in. Rhino Metals, handcrafted by Americans, not robots. So some of you might be looking at this going, dude, what's up with all the scratches and blemishes on it? That's the point. All of these safes are made by hand and then they're also distressed by hand as well. All of these safes have their own color and grain variations nicks, scratches, other surface marks that bring out the individual character through their antiquing process. That's what gives this thing its unique one-of-a-kind look and no two safes are ever gonna be the same. So the safe looks great and all where it's sitting right now, but it was not easy to get it there. This thing weighs 790 pounds and I needed two of my friends to help me get it in here. I kinda wish I would've been recording the whole process. Basically what we did was drop it off of its steel pallet onto three lead pipes. Then I laid down cardboard from the door that we brought it through all the way through the house into where it sits right now. If you paid attention in school, you might remember how the Egyptians moved all of those blocks to build the pyramids. Well, we did the same thing with this safe. We had the safe sitting on the three pipes like this, pushed it forward until the back pipe came out, and then moved that one to the front. We repeated that process a couple of times until we got it to where it's at now, and to be honest, it was pretty efficient. I'm definitely no professional safe mover. That might not be the best way to do it, but it worked for me, so maybe it'll work for you too. Let's actually take a look inside this thing now so I can show you guys how I have it set up. I might as well start with the door. This thing came with a complete organizer, holds eight handguns, nine magazines, and then it has zipper compartments and pouches for pretty much whatever else you wanna put in there. To give you an idea of what these pouches can hold, here I have my Glock 43, probably one of the smallest guns that I own. Fits in there pretty much all the way down. You can completely hide the handle if you want to. And then on the opposite side of the spectrum, here we have a 50 cal Desert Eagle. 
As you can see, not the best fit for a massive handgun like that, but it works. All of the magazines here are held in with this elastic material, and then onto the zipper compartments. I've got a sling for some ARs in here. These other zipper pouches, I got some custom Kydex, more custom Kydex, got lots of Kydex. And then down here in the pockets, I have some extra weapon mounted lights. So that's pretty much it for the door. It's not too packed out yet, so there's definitely room for more stuff in the future. Now I'll start from the top shelf and work my way down. As you can see, I have all my ammo in here, hearing protection, spare magazines, more magazines over here. I have my Kydex holster that I actually use to carry my Glock 43 in. That's definitely been one of my most heavily carried guns lately. And then normally since I have so much room up here, I will throw my Desert Eagle up here rather than sticking it in the door slot. I'll save that space for a gun that fits it better. The material that this thing is lined with, by the way, is called Distress Leatherette. It's this soft, plush, kind of leathery feeling material, but it's really not leather. It looks really good in my opinion. One thing that's really nice about these external hinges is that it allows a door to swing a full 180 degrees open. That way you have easy access to the right side of your safe in here. They give you a bunch of different shelving options and places to put rifles in here, which is really nice, especially if you have a bunch of short pistols like this. I have this right side set up basically to hold pistols and then guns that I don't shoot very often. Those two guns back there, I'm showing you them now, but you'll probably never see a video on those. So I put one shelf about a foot off the ground, and then these notches to hold rifles about a foot and a half above that. That way when I put a short rifle in here, like this seven and a half inch AR pistol, it fits perfectly. Another good thing about setting it up like this, I have to bring you guys down a little bit lower so you can see. As you can already tell, this safe has lights, and down here underneath the shelf is where the power strip is. Behind that plug where the lights are already plugged in are actually two USB ports as well. Maybe you have a small humidifier or something that you want to plug in there. Pretty convenient. Since this is kind of hidden down here, this is where I keep some of my paperwork. I have a watch, passport, just kind of keep stuff hidden. Now moving on to the main portion of the safe is where you'll find something that I actually added on after I got the safe and that is this swing out gun rack. The main idea behind this rack is basically organization and ease of use. Most safes you will find one of these, which this one actually comes with. If you have this thing filled up with rifles, you gotta pull out the first one to get to one in the back and then put the first one back in. It's kind of a hassle. This gives you the option to have 12 rifles really easy to access. It has things elevated up off the floor, so technically you could put other things down here like ammo stacks of money, whatever you have lying around. All of their safes are pre-drilled for this rack, so if you wanna put it in, you just bolt it right up. Once this thing is swung all the way in, as you can see, there's still room in the back here, so I have a longer rifle in the back. Chris Vector on the side here because it's short, it doesn't really fit anywhere except for over here. There's still plenty of room for this thing, so if you're not completely packing the safe out, I think this is a really good option to go with. Speaking of options, buying a safe is pretty much like buying a car. There's so many different things that you can choose from, like the swing out gun rack, the lights are optional, different shelving options, the lock on the door. You can go with the standard dial combo lock or you can opt for the electronic option. A lot of these options can be selected right through Rhino Metals, but at the same time you can pick stuff up in other places as well. This lighting package that I have for example, it's motion censored, so after four minutes when the door is closed, this will turn off. I open the door, it senses that I'm here, and it'll turn the lights on. There's six LED strips, two on each side, one on the top and one on the bottom. I picked them up on Amazon for like 35 bucks. I will leave a link to that down in the description below if you wanna pick them up. Another thing that I added that's pretty cool, you guys might remember in a mail time video last week when I opened the Keeper MG gun magnets. I actually mounted both of them right under here. So what this is nice for is in the morning when I'm ready to leave the house, I'll come over here, open up the safe, Grab the gun right from underneath the shelf. I have my holster with two mags and the chambered round right inside of here. I'll throw the mag in, make the gun hot, put the gun in its holster, top off the mag. Mag goes in the gun, holster in my pants, and I'm ready to go. Same thing when I come back home, take my gun off, holster goes back in the safe, gun gets unloaded, one in the chamber, and then I'll stick the gun right underneath here until I'm ready to carry again tomorrow. Just to give you an idea of how strong these magnets are, Glock 43, obviously pretty damn light. How about a Desert Eagle? As you can see, this gun is probably like four and a half pounds unloaded, holds it just fine. They're super strong magnets, but they also have a rubber coating on them, so they're not gonna mar the finish on your gun. They're relatively cheap too, so if you wanna pick some of those up, throw them in your safe. I will leave a link to those down in the description as well. 
So that's pretty much it for my safe overview. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. A huge thank you is due to Rhino Metals for making such awesome products. If you guys haven't checked out their website yet, definitely go check it out. You can spec out a safe just like how you spec out a car. A ton of different options, you can get pricing for pretty much whatever you want. Also, definitely go follow them on Instagram and let them know that I sent you. They do giveaways pretty much every single month and you can end up winning a safe just like this on an Instagram giveaway. How fucking crazy is that? If you're new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every week and that's gonna be it for today. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.